All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another day of key jetronic diagnostics. So let me run you through a couple of things that we've already done. Uh, also, if you haven't watched the playlist, it's going to be up here uh, for the previous videos. So make sure to check that out. So today uh, is going to be probably a big day because I have um, a used, good used fuel distributor that my friend gave it to me. Rain, if you're watching this video, thank you so much for that you're awesome uh so apparently you know it came it's off of the same engine off of the same car and it came with uh you know it was running and driving the car was running and driving you know we don't know much history but you know it was it was all good the only thing that i had to do to it is i had to buy a new uh potentiometer airflow potentiometer because that was uh missing on it other than that i mean it looked pretty good it was just on the shelf for quite a while so Alright, this is the fuel distributor that I will be installing onto this car. Uh, like I said, it came off of a working car and everything and I already cleaned it up pretty well and uh, I had this fitting out and I was cleaning the filter in there and all that stuff. And this is a brand new uh, airflow uh, sensor potentiometer that I installed. Uh, the only thing is I'll have to adjust it which will be pretty difficult. Uh, because you have to have the car hot and running um, while you do this uh, so and also I checked this guy and it's all good this is the uh, this is a really important seal okay um, make sure there's uh, no tears or cracks in this thing loosening the injector lines to make everything easier so I can move these lines a little bit out of the way all right the injector lines are all out and right now I'm gonna quickly do the test to see how good this uh, distributor is um, what I'm going to do is activate the fuel pump. So there's a number one and number two pins they're actually next to each other um, so mass module is out key is on and as you can see I'm getting power to the mass module and then what I'll need to do is I'll need to jump uh, the pins one and two in order to turn on the um, fuel pump all right um, on the uh, cars with like different engines you might have a fuel pump relay so for the fuel pump relay it's actually a lot simpler to get to um, and there's not a lot of modules here in this area so for the cars with the uh, fuel pump relay depends uh, like usually W120 uh, W201s have them here the W126s have the fuel pump uh, relay in that area and all that stuff so it depends on the car and what kind of engine you have but if you have a fuel pump relay usually contacts 7 and 8 jumped uh, will provide power for the fuel pump itself so the fuel pump will be running and the key has to be on for that now I'm gonna jump those two it's gonna be hard to see guys I'm really sorry, but I'm using this jumper wire. All right, guys, fuel pump is running. She's running, and you don't want to see any of these ports being filled while the engine is uh, off and fuel pump is running. And so far, so good. I don't see any issues here. Just so you guys believe me, pumps are running. And now what I need to do 
is I'm gonna press the airflow plate and I'm gonna make sure that uh, we get fuel uh, delivery to each port simultaneously it's gonna be hard to tell but I'm gonna try to do that as best as I can while watching these ports one two three oh it's actually pretty good I would say not bad at all oh. so it seems like oh, it's possible that this distributor is okay so maybe we just need to do the tuning all right let's try it again I'm about to press this thing This distributor is not bad at all, guys. It's actually delivering fuel. I forgot to mention, but make sure before you remove the lines, you clean the areas pretty well. So this is pretty good. So I'm happy about that. So we may have some issues with the vacuum leak and other stuff that are causing our issues, you know, and also this potentiometer and stuff, so. I don't know, I'm probably going to leave this uh, this chipper in place, but I still need to pull it out and check underneath and replace the vacuum lines and hoses. Okay, that's it. Just the jumper wire. Alright, we can go ahead and close up the or uh, shut off the ignition. Another thing to make sure is this airflow plate. Feel it? It has to have play like this. If yours doesn't have play, that means your fuel will be your fuel air mixture will be rich and your engine will probably not start. So you need to have at least some um, at least some um, free play on this uh, airflow plate. Okay, uh, I loosened up the fuel pressure regulator and all that stuff and I'm almost ready to pull this guy out. Disconnected the EHA valve and I'm about to disconnect this uh, airflow uh, potentiometer. Um, and as you can see I have the connector slightly out because I'm going to be checking this thing really quick and show you how to do that. So uh, the DVOM is on ohms, uh, 20k scale. So what are you going to do? You're going to touch one lead to the middle middle part which is going to be kind of difficult but you need to get that done all right let's see try from this side so sorry guys i'm doing this on the fly i want my car back operational again all right so here's that and then i'm going to touch the top one with this lead like it's not right let's try that again all right here's the reading 1.06 now what you need to do you need to push on the airflow meter while watching that so I'll try to do that losing my reading I'm gonna push on this airflow meter Push it down slowly. And we shouldn't drop out. Okay, it's all the way down. I don't know, maybe my multimeter is not the best here. But sorry for the wind. And then I'm going down back up slowly and we're down to this and 
seems like it's not dropping or anything like that so this should still be a good uh, potentiometer okay I'll run you quickly how to uh, test your fuel injectors so this is the these are the lines you will need um, and then you have to take these lines off of the fuel distributor and then you're gonna connect these lines into here um, and uh, I'm about to show you how to do that and you'll have to jump the fuel pump relay or the mass module to activate your fuel pump and you have to have the ignition on for that and yeah I'll show you really quick a setup of one I'm not gonna really like test them or anything but um, I'll show you how you can do it yourself so you would connect all the lines not just one but you would connect all the lines this way and then you would connect your fuel injector into here tighten it and then you would activate your fuel pump um, and then once you come here and you also need to put these in a bottle somehow you have to make a space and put each one of these injectors in a bottle because they will be spraying here all over the place so once you have that okay then you will just press this airflow airflow plate down i can't speak today it's cold uh you're gonna press this down and then you will see the injector spray pattern okay it should be uh should be spraying uh pretty well um it should be misty and all that if it's leaking if it's not spraying well that's a bad injector so that's this is one of the methods that you can use to do it this way okay if you uh, don't want to do this uh, like that, then you can buy a um, you know, uh, pressure kit and then you can literally just uh, pressure test it. Just literally put it on the stand and then hook this up to the pressure tester and just pump it up and then you will see the same spray pattern like I showed you in this method pretty much. I didn't show it to you, you know, I'm just running, running, running out of time, I have to move on. So we just got new fuel injectors and that's it. And these are these were original ones. Alright, so everything is disconnected here. I removed three 10 millimeter nuts holding this whole thing in place and I loosened this clamp right there for the hose. And I'm about ready I'm about to pull this guy off. There it is, she's out. It's a good idea to uh take out the throttle body and clean it but I don't really have a, I don't have a gasket for it right now so but I'll try to clean it from this side and so this thing is original actually it came off of this car and uh, this might this may not be original but this whole thing is original though because because it has a stamping right there uh it says 1990 so this car the seal is original to this car now i will be replacing a bunch of hoses here all right there are a few of them that need to be replaced air control valve is also working properly I applied power and ground to it and clicks everything is good and it's also cleaning it on the inside even though it was already really clean but I'm still just adding some more uh, cleaner in there and then I'll flush it out just so it's clean 100% So this is the old hose and it's original um, and I broke it like this it wasn't broken like that but it's like really hard it's really brittle you can't really like squeeze it or anything this one is nice and soft brand new one so I'll install this guy and it sits 
goes from the idle control valve uh, this connects to the your cold start injector and uh, this goes to your intake manifold for ease of uh, the hose installation which is this hose uh, i recommend removing the injector the cold start injector okay just moving it out of the way letting it hang like that it would be a good uh, idea to actually check your cold start injector right now if you haven't yet um, so yeah that's a really good idea so I'll probably do that but I really don't want to do it right now because I'm gonna have a bunch of fuel spilled I'll probably do it sometime later Okay guys, my GoPro is about to die unfortunately, but here's the hose, uh, the cold start injector is uh, reconnected and everything, and I already cleaned the throttle body. Uh, what I'm gonna do off the camera, uh, actually I will wait on the gasket, I'll take this off and clean it because there's some junk inside the um, intake manifold and all that stuff, and I'll also replace this hose because it's original, uh, like I said I have these hoses uh, right over here, okay? And then um, at the end, I'll actually install uh, this other used uh, distributor on this thing. All right, I'm about to show you how good this thing goes up a hill, okay? So I'm about to make a right turn right here and we're gonna test it. Test the, um, how it goes up a hill, okay? It's a pretty steep, steep uh, hill. So let's go ahead and see, okay? All right, it goes pretty well. Okay, downshift it. show you how it accelerates okay it accelerates pretty good and good response and stuff like that so, okay so I'm gonna we're driving right now about 25 miles an hour and I'm gonna floor it Because, uh, you know, with the old stuff, uh, before I did this job, this car, whenever I used to, like, let's say I went, uh, I had to drive up a hill, uh, the car would just bog down. I mean, it would be like a turtle, really, really, like, it's, uh, it wasn't accelerating, it was, it was really difficult, okay? So, right now, everything is great, I mean, um, and always, remember, always use premium fuel and these amazing cars all right don't cheap out so yeah good stuff guys <laughs> 